go ahead and say she lied, but it's still uh, far from her. Welcome to the Bible in Plain View. We're here. We uh, do a short segment, a 30 minute lesson, uh, subject and title. You know, the, we ask you to get your pencils, your paper, and most of all, your Bible. And we ask for patience to uh, learn, you know, uh, this lesson right here. My name is Brother Ira. I'll be a reader for today. Our teacher will be Brother Glenn. And the title of our uh, lesson today is uh, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Without further ado, Brother Lynn, go ahead, Brother Lynn, go ahead and take off. You Thank you, my brother. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to start this off in um, Proverbs 18, right? Probably. So we're going to look at an example of death and life, how it is in the power of the tongue. And we trees in this lesson, the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. and we're going to see the what was in their tongue. Was it life or death? And we also see what kind of fruit came with that, mm -hmm. you know? So we're going to start this off from Proverbs 18 and 21. Proverbs Ready? 18, ahead, yes, brother. sir. Verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Just like my brother said, death and life is in the power of our tongue. And if you, whichever one you love, that's what you're going to eat. You're going to eat that fruit. So if you love death, you're going to eat the fruit of death. If you love life, you're going to eat the fruit of life. Mm -hmm. so we're going to see what these what this is, and we're going to look at these two trees as an hour's example. So we're going to go to Genesis 3, mm -hmm. 1. Genesis 3, 1 through 5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at the serpent, that devil, you know, that, that the, the old serpent, the dragon. You know, you can go ahead, my bro. Yes, sir. All right. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Right. So right off the back, it's telling you the serpent is subtle, right? Meaning his his artful, cunning, crafty, mm -hmm. you know, deceitful. Just just his name alone, right? The serpent is, is describing his characteristics to you, right? Go ahead, my bro. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said you shall eat of every tree of the garden? And he's questioning what God said. And we can actually read what God told Adam, right? And he's 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 questioning what God said right here, asking the woman, like, did God really say this? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And this is what God told them, right? God told them not to eat of that tree, not to eat no, nothing from that tree. No, Don't take no knowledge from this tree. No, that's right? Don't is. touch it. Don't taste it. Right? Go ahead. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's the lie right there. Because we're going to see that God actually told them that you are going to die if you eat this information from the serpent. But we're going to go to um, Genesis 2 and 16, and we're going to read that. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. right there, right? Yes, so sir. Two and sixteen. All right. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, "Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die." So we see that God is telling the man that you're gonna die if you take information from this tree. But the serpent is telling the woman, hey, no, nah, you're not going to die. You're good. No, it's, it's what, what information? What, yeah. It was information. It's, it's information. It's, it's an apple. No, it's no apple. We're going to oh, see what okay. the fruit is. Okay. Right? We're okay. going to see what okay. that fruit is that was in the mouth. Your plane, bro. You know? Yes, sir. Go ahead. We're going to go back to Genesis 3. Continue back on that. At verse, verse 6. six. Yes, sir. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Right, so you see, she's seeing this fruit, and she's seeing this fruit. This information that the serpent is giving her is, is going to make her wise. This is this is something to be desired, right? Mm -hmm. So what she did, she loved that fruit. She loved that lie. She ate it. And not only did she eat it, she gave it also to her husband, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened to them after that? They ate that fruit. Verse 7, and the eyes of both of them were opened. And they knew that they were naked, 
and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, where art thou? Where art thou, Adam? Right? He's asking Adam. He's calling unto Adam. Where art thou? What Adam said. And he said, I heard thy, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because Why I was... Why are you afraid, Adam? Don't perfect love cast about fear? Mm -hmm. Why is Adam afraid right now? If he was following his commandments, he should. there should be no reason to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Continue, my bro. He said, verse 10 said again, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Right. Who gave you this information? Mm -hmm. I didn't give you this information mm -hmm. that you're naked. Who is giving you this information, Adam, that you're naked? Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Did you take this information from that tree, Adam? Did you eat it? Did you eat the fruit that was in his mouth? The fruit of lies? Mm -hmm. We're going to see that it is the fruit of lies. Go ahead. And the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. 17. 11? Yeah, stop at 11. That was it. That was it for that. Mm -hmm. Are we going to go to um, Romans 5 and 2? Because I want to I wanna show you that because man ate that fruit, what happened after he ate that fruit? Romans 5 and 12? Yeah. Okay. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Right? All of us have sinned. All of us have eaten that fruit of lies that Adam ate. Right? And this is how death came into the world, because we love lies. You know? So we're going to go to um, Hosea chapter 10. We're going to go to Hosea chapter 10. Mm -hmm. And in Hosea chapter 10, we're going to actually see that a fruit could be lies. Because I've been telling you that a fruit could be lies, right? Although it's not talking about the garden, right? we're going to see that fruits could be lies. Because all scripture could be given for inspiration, right? Proper for doctrine, mm -hmm. for reproof, correction, right? And we're going to use Hosea right now to prove that it's a fruit of lies. Come on. I'm not even at Hosea, but I got it right here. Go ahead. <laughs> so you got it right here, huh? Hosea chapter 10, verse what? 13. 13. Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of thy mighty men. See, he trusted in who? Satan. He believed Satan's words instead of God's words. Instead of believing the truth, he believed the lie. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to take you there just so we could look at it and so you could see yourself that, hey, this is the fruit of lies that they ate. Mm -hmm. They ate something coming out of the serpent's mouth, and it was lies. And so now we're going to go to John 8, right? Because there was somebody else in the garden with Satan, the tree of life, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So let us let him himself tell us what was out, what was coming out of Satan's mouth. John chapter John 8. 8, verses 43. 43 through 47. John 8, 43 through 47. Go ahead. Okay. Why well, why do ye not understand my speech? Because ye cannot hear my words. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. What was he before? He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. See that he never he never abode in the truth. He was always a liar, right? Mm -hmm. Because what's in him? Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. You see that? Jesus right here is telling us because he was in the garden with Satan, right? Mm -hmm. Those were the two trees in the midst of God, and wasn't mm -hmm. it? And Jesus is telling us himself that Satan is a lie and the father of it, mm -hmm. right? When he speaks, he's not speaking on the behalf of God. He's speaking his own stuff, you yeah. know? Go ahead. Yes, sir. Verse 45. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. You see? Jesus is telling us the truth. 
Because isn't Jesus the truth, the way and the light? Mm, yes, he is. Right? Yes, He's sir. telling us the truth, but yes, nobody sir. wants to believe Jesus. Right. right? Yes. Go ahead. Which of you convict, convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He, he that is of God, hear God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. And that's that's it. You're not going to hear God's word if you're right. out of God, right? So we're going to go to 2 Timothy 4, and we're going to look at what you what you want to hear if you don't want to hear God's word, mm. right? 2 Timothy 4 and verse 4. Second Timothy 4 and verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And that's exactly what Adam did. He was listening to the truth. He was hearing the truth. What they did, they turned their ears from hearing the truth. And they went and listened to fables instead. Lies from Satan. Mm -hmm. but continue, my bro. We're going to go back to Proverbs. We're going to go to Proverbs 8. Mm -hmm. And I want to let you hear the truth now. What comes out of um. The other tree's mouth, right? The tree of life. Mm -hmm. You know? Proverbs 8 and verse 4 to 7. Yes, sir. We're going to listen to some wisdom right now. We're going to let wisdom speak because that's what comes out of my God's yeah. mouth, right? Yes, sir. Isn't that what comes out of his mouth? Absolutely. Yes, so let wisdom speak. All right. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. He's speaking to all of us, all men, right? Mm -hmm. All oh. Adam, all of Adam, right? right, right. We all Adam. And all of sin, right? right? We all, all of sin, sin comes short, right? What That's are you telling us? Uh, verse five. Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. What's going to come out of his mouth? And the opening right? of my lips shall be right things. Right things. You see that? <laughs> right? He, he going to... Whatever's coming out of God's mouth is going to be right things. Yeah, verse 7. Yeah, verse 7. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my mm, lips. So you see what comes out of the tree of life? Truth. Ain't no lies coming out of his mouth. Truth. Yes, so I want to show you what truth is. So we're going to... Um, we, nah, let's, let's look at what the excellent things that came out of his mouth first. Let's go to Psalms 133. Yes, sir. And 3. Verse 3. Psalms 133 and verse, verse three. 3. Yes, sir. Let's get there. Let's let's hear the wonderful things that came out of his mouth. Psalms 133 and verse 3. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded and blessed commanded the blessing, even life forever. You see what More. the Lord commanded? The Lord commanded us blessings. Right. The blessings he commanded us was life forevermore. Evermore. Yeah. But Satan is giving us what? Death. Everlasting death. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? So let's 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 continue on. We're gonna go to um Psalms 119, right? Yes, sir. Psalms 119, and we're gonna see what truth is. Mm -hmm. That one? Yep. Psalms 119 and 151. Thou art near. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are true. So you see that? All the commandments God was giving Adam and he gave to us, he gave to Moses, they all true. Word. It wasn't no lie. Word. Right? It wasn't mm -hmm. a lie. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Look, we're going to go to um, John 17 and 17. We're going to go to Psalm 9. Stay on Psalms 119. Uh -huh. We're going to go to 142. Yes, sir. 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is truth. Yeah, that's what so I'm you see about. what it is? What comes out of his mouth? True. True. Right? Law. But if that's not enough for you, we're going to go to John. Let's go. John 17. Does the book say to the law and to the testimony, right? Go into the testimony. Okay, we're going to find because someplace we got, else. We got some New okay. Testament Christians out there. So okay, they need to hear it both ways. They need right? to hear it both ways. Okay. You know? Okay, I hear it. I think they're that. John 17 and 17. What do you tell us? I, get there. Get I could say it all on top. <laughs> Yo, I know no, you could. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So you see that? God's word, his laws, his statutes, his commandments, his judgments. That's what is true. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. 
So we're gonna go this back to lot. Proverbs eight. Yes, sir. Back again. Back to Proverbs eight. I knew I should have just held my finger. Yeah, I should have said that. <laughs> 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 it's all good. I'm alert. Yeah. I'm alert. I'm it's alert. all good. Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8. And we're going to continue on verse, verse 8. 8. Okay. I got you. I got you all day. All right. Proverbs 8 and 8. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Right. So he says, All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. And we already read what righteousness is, right? Yes, sir. The law. The law. Is righteousness. The all the law that comes out of his mouth yes, is righteousness. Right? Verse 19, right? Yeah, verse 19, stick to 19. My fruit is better than gold, mm -hmm. yay, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. You see that? The fruit coming out of his mouth, the truth, that's better than gold. Yes, sir. That's better than the lie Satan giving us. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right? So we're going to go to Psalms, um, no, not Psalms. Let's go, What's that? Nah, 32, 32 to 36. 32, 32 yes, 36. sir. Thank you. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my way. Mm, it's Here. a blessing, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that what he told us on Mount Hermon? Yes, yes. But then he commanded what? Blessings. Yeah. Right? And Even and life, life evermore. evermore. Yes, sir. Thank sir. you. Yes, Thank sir. you, my bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we need to speak, right? Yeah. Blessings in life. <laughs> yeah. Not death, huh? All right. It says 32 again. Don't mind. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and mm. be wise and refuse it mm. not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gate, waiting at the post of my door. For whosoever findeth me. Findeth what? Like. Ooh. So if you find God's words and you listen to the God's words, you're going to find life. Mm -hmm. Right? You're not going to find death in that because it says death, life, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Tongue, right. And he's telling you find life with me. Continue, my brother. Whosoever findeth me, findeth life. And shall obtain favor of the mm, Lord. Favor. Go ahead. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Well, if you mm. hate, if you hate truth, you definitely love life. Yeah. You love death. Right. Right. Ooh. You love death. Go ahead. So we're gonna go to um gonna go to Revelation, Revelation chapter 22. Chapter 22. Yes, sir. And we're gonna see that because he said there's a blessing in that, right? Mm -hmm. I already showed you there's a blessing, but I want to show you again in Revelation. In the New Testament. Revelation 22, and we're going to go to verse 14 and 15. All right. Verse 14 and 15? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right unto the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. So you see that? All you got to do is keep God's commandments so you can have right to the tree of life. Look at what it says. Tree of life. Yeah. They don't say tree of death. Right? right? Tree of life. For what? For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters. And who else? And, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. You see that right there? If you love making lies, right? Because you a murderer, that's a liar. Mm -hmm. You a whoremonger, you a liar. Mm -hmm. Right? You an idolater, you a liar. Right? Mm -hmm. All these things come under lies. Because all of this is lies. Right? Come so on. we're going to go to... um. Romans, Romans 6. Romans 6 and 23. 23. Oh, the wages. And we're going to see that what Satan was trying to tell Adam and Eve in that garden was leading to their death. But he said, nah, you're not going to surely die. You yeah, did. That's the first lie, right? He said he's the father of it, right? You yes, know sir. what Jesus told us? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go ahead. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See that? So through Jesus Christ is the only one you're going to be getting life. That's it. He's the one that have what? The truth. The, tree. Yeah, the yeah. truth. He yeah, has the truth, the truth in him, right? Tree of life. Go ahead. So we're going to go to John 14. John 14. John 14. And we're going to see Jesus is going to tell us himself what's in his mouth. Right? John 14. Verse 1, one and then, and then, then six. Skip to 6. All right. <clears throat> Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Yeah, you better believe in the tree of life. You better eat from the tree of life. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to get to the Father. Right? Mm -hmm. What Jesus says in verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Ah, no. So you see that right there. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. Right? Mm -hmm. right? So what is he? His life. And what's in his mouth? Truth. 
Go ahead. Yes. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Can't get to the Father without me. You can't get to the Father without eating from the tree of life. Yes, sir. All right? So we're going to continue off with that, and we're going to go to um, John 6 and 63. John 6. Uh -huh. John 6 and 63, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pick it up at verse 63. He's gonna tell us. Go ahead, my brother. Let us, let's hear what he has to say. Okay, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That's why I, that's why Jesus said, if you believe in God, believe in me. Mm -hmm. Believe also in me, because he has the words of God in mm -hmm. his mouth. Right? That's right. He right? is the word, right? He is the word, mm -hmm. and he's telling us right here. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profit of nothing. The words I'm speaking to you, that's what's going to give you life, right? That's what's going to give us life. He says, um, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, so we right? need that. Verse 67, right? Verse 67. Thank All right, you. then said Jesus unto the 12, will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Yeah, where we gonna go, right? Mm -hmm. Because they got some people. If, we, if we, we didn't read it, but some people left when Jesus said, "You gotta eat meat. Right. You gotta eat the truth and meat." Right? They didn't want that. Right. Right. So Simon Peter, he's asking Simon Peter and his disciples, like, you know, y'all gonna go too? They're like, where we gonna go? Right. You got the words of what? Eternal right. life. Eternal life. Eternal life is in you. Right. Where, where, where else are we gonna go? To Satan? Right. Because that's the only other option. Right. You know. Was that it for that, bro? Yeah, let me read it again. Uh, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Mm, right? Mm -hmm. That was a good thing right there. Good, good. Yes, so we're going to go to Psalms 34, 12 through 13. Because if you love life, you, you're going you're gonna to have to Go out with the lies. You're gonna have to put the lies out. That's right. You know. Psalms 34, 12, 12 and 13. 13. Yeah. What man is he that loveth that desires life and loveth many days? What you gonna do? That he may see good. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. What he tells in 14. Depart, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Mm -hmm. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. So that's it for that. That's it for that. So right here you tell us, right? Mm -hmm. In verse 12, you said, What man is he that desires life? So do you desire life? Yes, sir. Do, do, do you out there desire life? Yeah. That's that's what it's asking you right here. What man is he that desires life and loveth, loveth many days? Because we know that he told us in it, that he, he commanded blessings on Mount Hermon, even life forevermore. So if you love life, you're gonna do you're gonna do exactly what he says. You're gonna keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking God, yeah. which is lies. Right. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna speak these 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 lies that Satan is giving the whole world. Right. Right. So we're gonna continue off. Um, we're gonna go to um, gonna go to First Peter three and ten. First Peter three and ten, because you know to the law and to the testimony, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First Peter three and ten. Uh, for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Exactly what we just read in, in Psalms, right? Absolutely. Second First Peter is quoting the exact same thing we just read in Psalms. Mm -hmm. Right, telling you if you love life, you're gonna have to stop speaking lies. Right. Right. So now let's look at an example. Of um somebody speaking lies, and we're gonna go to Second Timothy two, and from eleven to eighteen, and we're gonna see how speaking lies could kill someone, mm -hmm. kill their faith, which eventually will kill you. 
and lead them to the lake of fire. Second mm-hmm. Timothy 2. Yeah, that has been. I'm sorry, verse what? Verses 11 to 18. All right. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. Mm-hmm. If if we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. He can't do that. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that we strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. What they say? Who concerning the truth have erred, mm. saying that the resurrection is past already. You see what they saying? They lie. Right. Mm-hmm. They making up a lie. And what? And you won't see what happens to somebody that listens to this lie. What happens to somebody listening to this? And life? and overthrow the faith of some. See that overthrew their faith. You dead if your faith is overthrown. Right. That's it for you. You know? Still got some time. So we're gonna go to Proverbs 12 and 17. We're going to see somebody that's speaking truth, what they're going to show. You know, what's going to come out their mouth? If, is it going to be lies coming out their mouth? Righteousness? Death? We're going to see what it is. You get that? You can go ahead. Yes, sir. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness. Ah, you see what you're showing for? You're going to show forth God's laws, his commandments, his statutes, his laws. You're going to be teaching that. But what? But a false witness, deceit. Hmm. See that? You're going to be speaking just like your father, the devil, mm. Satan. You're going to be speaking mm. to deceit. You know? You're going to speak all these deceits, like Christmas, Easter. Right. All that is deceit. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Right. Verse 18? Yeah, give me 18. Too. Man, this is all good stuff right here. There, there is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, mm. but the tongue of the wise is health. See that? It's going to heal you. Because it's going to tell you, hey, you know what? You shouldn't eat pork no more. My tongue is going to tell you that. Yeah. Right? It's some good it's stuff. Gonna, it's going to tell you these things. It's going to tell you how to eat, how to live. Right? right? This is good stuff. Verse 19. The lips of truth shall be established forever. Mm. But what happened? But a lying tongue is but for a moment. Mm. You're going to be for a moment. You're going to be in that fire. Mm. You're going to be like chaff. Mm. Right? You agree? Yeah, go ahead. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. Mm. But to... But to the to the counselors of peace is joy. Twenty two, lying lips are an abomination mm. to the Lord. Right. But they that deal truly is his delight. Yeah, that's why it says uh, if you yeah. love if you love life, you're gonna do what? You're gonna speak life, right? Absolutely. You're gonna speak truth. Go ahead. In the way of righteousness, <laughs> in the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death mm. Mm. there ain't no death in that pathway it's only right. life right. he already right. told you give right. me proverbs 11 and 30. <laughs> still got time <laughs> proverbs 11, 11 and, 30. and 30. here it is let's go is it uh, uh, sorry sorry about that because we looking at that fruit yeah. right, right. Yeah. the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, mm. and he, he that winneth souls is wise. Yeah, hey, you see that? If your fruit, the fruit coming out of your mouth, if it's if it's true, it's gonna be what a tree of life. Yes, sir. For everybody else. Word. You speaking lies, you were what? A tree of knowledge of good, good and evil. evil. Right. Then you speaking yeah. death. Right. You know what I'm saying? So give me Proverbs 15. I still got 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 15 and I don't four. Know, man. Wrap it up. <laughs> <You're gonna> wrap <laughs> it up. <laughs> Go on, wrap it up. <laughs> a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. All right. And that and was death and life is in the power of the tongue. And I hope you had understanding. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There it is. Amen. There it is. <laughs> I got 